What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, we're about to get into Balufus and his court date situation. So, first of all, we've been trying to figure out all day, is Blueface getting out? And come to find out, the judge is um, extending his court date like uh, it was continued again, basically. Had that man sit in court all day for it to be continued again. Um and it's going to be a final ruling or a final whatever come August 9th on my birthday. Uh, court day has been postponed again. 8 9 24, judge will then make a decision. Okay. Now, I don't know if she's just kind of dragging it along to kind of get on his nerves or if she just genuinely has it out for him. Um, quite frankly, he doesn't have the best, you know, representation. I mean, Wack is currently dealing with a recall. So it's just a lot going on in that situation. So I don't know. Let me know if y'all think he's going to get out or not. Quite frankly, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, on to other news. Bluefus's mother's father was at the jail. All right. And, um... He had a couple things to say. He was very much so upset that his grandchildren were in the courthouse. Where you get it from? Can I make sure they're okay? You no, know, you don't make sure you're not going Oh, this him getting into it with uh, Bo Bodine. You have no legal say in this video. Do you know his name? I don't have to know okay, his name. All I know is the blood go through. Yeah. Oh, listen, what is going on? I'm not going to argue with him. I'm not going to argue with him. Because they're mine and not yours. I'm concerned, and I don't care how Jonathan feels, his mother feels, his baby mama feels, or anything else. This is a case for children's services. The whole situation is a case for children's services. Let me ask you a question about yes, that. Go ahead. Um, like, you know, all family and good family, blood, thicker than water, we all hear that. So, Bodine has been in your grandkids' life. You're talking to me about someone who I never met before in my life. He ain't even let him finish. So you're asking me to trust someone with my grandchildren and my grandson with an individual who I know nothing about. I don't even think you know nothing about the grandkids, though. For him to approach me and have a conversation about my seed. This is my seed who I fed and gave my life to take care of, for someone to even address me and have a conversation concerning him is disrespectful. Where do you get it? Child. So the Faja was very much so upset. It is another part to this. Um, girl, everybody is talking about it right now, so give me one second. I mean, I just <laughs> let me know what y'all think about that in general. Um, quite frankly, we haven't even seen a grandfather or around. So I, not, none of the grandparents have picked up Junior. I'm just not understanding. Not I have right here Blueface's grandfather, Carlissa's dad. Can you introduce yourself for the camera? Yes, my name is Keith Harvey. I'm from Georgia. Keith Harvey from Georgia. Mm -hmm. Very nice meeting you. You're an OG. You look professional. I'm glad that you're here. People said you look like a, you know, like you're ready to go and win a case. <laughs> I, I've been doing this for 30 years. Okay. Okay. So uh, real quick. Um, so earlier today, you got into it with Bodine involving the uh, grandkids of yours. And I'm just trying to clarify uh, because Bodine has been very supportive of your grandkids uh, and you know him got into a, a little spat about that. Can you give me uh, more information as to why there's a conflict? Sure. First of all, this is not the place for children. Second of all, a seven-year-old boy should not see his father come out in a jumpsuit. Do y'all think um, he's wrong for that? Like, literally. Um... If if a if a boy hasn't seen his dad in like, you know, half the year, you think he wrong for going there to see his daddy? I mean, what if he was like, I want to see my daddy? And she hasn't brought him yet. Well, not to a court date, but she has been bringing him to the jail regardless. So, 
Um, what if he, you know, genuinely wanted to see him? I mean, that's going to stick with him for the rest of his life. And as far as the gentleman, Bodine, to speak to a grandfather about his blood child and being a total stranger and to offer an opinion is totally disrespectful and off, what, what's a better word? It's just, I'm gonna just use disrespectful since I'm here using that. And to not know anything about me to suggest something as stupid as to say she couldn't afford a babysitter to bring the kids here to court, to me is just unrealistic. Who couldn't afford a babysitter? And now he's talking about unrealistic. So you rather the kids be with somebody you don't know. Because you're talking about knowing somebody. You rather the kids be with somebody you don't know. All the grandparents is at court. What? I, I understand that it's traumatizing. I, I, what I was asking was, as y'all know how Javon is. I'm sure she probably asked, do you want to go see your dad? But he's already seen him in the jail. But I, I can't disagree. I, I understand what you're saying. And the overall approach to this situation concerning my grandchildren and behavior of Blueface, Jonathan, of his mother, of his grandmother, and everybody that's surrounding him seems to be neglecting the children. I said, I'm going to say this so everybody can... So what about you? <laughs> like, you're another grandparent? I don't be understanding that. I don't, I don't understand that at all. I don't support that. You hear me about mines? I'm down all the way, brother. It's children's... You ain't down because you would have been the one watching the children. Cat Services <laughs> or Supermax prison. I'm here today to see what's going on with Jonathan, but also to see what's going on with my children. Because this has gone too far. For her to even bring these children here is a total insult to the system. It's an insult to the judge. And it weighs neg- Huh? How's the insult to them? Negatively in Jonathan's favor because no judge is going to look good on a black man standing here with his son in the audience looking at him at a jumpsuit. So... As far as I'm concerned, and I don't care how Jonathan feels, his mother feels, his baby mama feels. I thought judges like support. Or anything else. This is a case for children's services. The whole situation is a case for children's services. Let me ask you a question about yes, that. Go ahead. Um, like, you know, all family and good family, blood, thicker than water, we all hear that. So, Bodine has been in your grandkids' again, life. You're talking to me about... He completely cut that man off. ...someone who I never met before in my life. So you're asking me to trust someone with my grandchildren and my grandson with an individual who I know nothing about. For him to approach me and have a conversation about my seed. This is my seed who I fed and gave my life to take care of, for someone to even address me and have a conversation concerning him is disrespectful. All right, you said it. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Child, so that was that on that. Um, let's get Carlissa's response. Yeah, Not, people. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not that. I don't, I don't know who that guy is, y'all. Let me know because um, apparently he's been locked up for a minute. All right. She said, thank you, Jaden, for allowing me to spend time with my grandkids today. I apologize for my father who had no right to speak on anything about my grandchildren without even knowing who they are or who or what you do. I don't know. It's clear that you are doing a great job, especially having to do it alone. I separated myself from him as soon as I heard anything about CPS and will not be having anything to do with anyone that would rather judge uh, than to see my grandchildren happy. Keep doing the best you can because that's all we can do. And she's correct. Now, now y'all know on Monday, what, what day is Tuesday? On Tuesday, we will be agreeing with Carlissa. And on Wednesday, she will say something that will debunk this entire situation. But I'm hoping and I'm praying 
that we could just stick with whatever uh, she provided us with today. And um, she's standing on business. All right. So that's all we got. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um, I hope Blueface get out because I just don't want nobody in jail. I hope Krishan get out. I don't nobody want to go to don't nobody want to be in jail. Nobody wants to be in jail. However, um, you know, that saying you do the crime, you do the time, just so he might have to do some time. Y'all just comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about it in general. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey y'all.